Uh, first of all, good afternoon to everybody. Georgia speaking. And uh, let me just quickly introduce um, uh, us. Um, I am Georgia and I am the Jackson International Sales Manager. I am here with uh, Tiziana Chiamone, who is uh, the Jackson Senior Engineer, and she is also the responsible of the training and the support in Jackson. Um, I'd like just before starting to give you some information about uh, um, how you can interact with us during this presentation. Um, you can uh, uh, chat with us, so in case you have questions, doubts or something that is not clear, you can interact with us using the chat. Uh, we will leave at the end of the webinar uh, some time for Q&A, so question and answer. And in this period, you can interact directly with us. So in case you want to uh, talk to us, we can uh, open your minds, because actually your mind is uh, disabled. So you can always chat with us. If you want to talk to us, we can open the minds. You can just uh, raise up your hand, and we can open your minds to you so we can uh, interact. On the other side, if you want also to contact us by email or <coughs> later on or something like that, uh, we will leave our contact at the end and so we will be pleased to answer to all your uh, uh, questions and your doubt. So now I think that we can start. Uh, let me go briefly through the agenda. So we will have a brief company overview because some one of you already know our company but most of you uh, do not know Jackson Company. Then um, I will give you uh, a very short introduction about the Jaxel product, the Jaxel portfolio, software and solution. Today we will go through the JRC 3D Reconstructor software and we will uh, uh, go together with Tiziana inside the strength and the capabilities of the software. We will also talk about the output and result that you can extract from the software and then we, can, uh, uh, we have some time for Q&A. Now, let's focus on the um, uh, JLC 3D Reconstructor software. And uh, before starting, I'd like to uh, just uh, tell you that the software is uh, largely used from uh, different kind of users, starting from a private company uh, that are focused in engineering and construction application, up to a company who works in mining application, like let's say Diamond, that is also one of our Open Pit Mine system users up to a um, center who works in heritage, in heritage application field or research and university as well. So just to tell you that with Reconstructor you can really cover a wide application field. A JLC to the Reconstructor is composed by different software packages. <laughs> we try to customize the packages respect the different application field. So, uh, we have a, a specific package for construction and engineering application, heritage and architectural, forensic, mining and tunneling, and uh, all together these packages built up the JLC to the reconstructor pool that is also available for educational. Uh, the industry that you can cover with the software are really, really many, uh, starting from engineering and construction up to archaeological, heritage, architectural, mining, stockpile and tunneling, forensic and insurance as well, um, photo and video, educational, industrial plant, beam, and forest and, and, and agriculture. So with the software you can really work in uh, uh, several uh, industry fields covering all the needs and all the uh, purpose that you need. Um, let me just quickly go through this trend because I don't want you know, to bother you. I prefer them to leave the floor to Tiziana uh, who will go deeply uh, technically inside the different software features. But just to tell you that uh, uh, the software is uh, a multi-platform software. So uh, it means that you can manage inside the software different kind of data coming from different sensors. Um, you can, uh, uh, in one single software platform, you can import uh, tripod data as well as slam data, as well as mobile, airborne, hand, -hand laser, papa station, GPS, uh, picture. So you can really, uh, in one single software platform, merge all the data coming from the different sensors. And this is a very important aspect because it means that you don't need to know any other kind of third party software you can interact always with the same software platform in order to merge 
or your data. The software is also multi-format. Uh, it means that uh, uh, you can import a different kind of uh, format and here in the picture you can see most of the raw uh, legal format that can be imported inside the constructor starting from the uh, dot product and hand laser up to the uh, tele and optic laser, Heron or other SLAM technology, Regal VZ series and also the old one different kind of faro um, data, faro focus, and also the previous data are support, um, Teleline Optic, Topcon, Aishure Star, Freestyle, ZNF, Stonex. So you can really import most of the uh, raw data. So in case you, need, you use different devices, Genesis Direct Constructor can guarantee the compatibility for them especially thanks to the uh, relation of development that we have with the most of these other rows. The software also enables to run a full, uh, a, a, a complete data processing workflow in a very user-friendly and easy environment. And one of the uh, real strengths of the software is this uh, lineup Pro tools, this uh, automatic targetless registration. And Tiziana later on will show you some success case in different industry fields because of the uh, solution, uh, the, the uh, automatic registration can be used in different uh, application fields, uh, starting from the building one up to the forestry one, that is one of the, how can I say, the most difficult to run. Um, but I don't want to anticipate anything else. Um, I'd like also to remember you that uh, uh, the software uh, can guarantee also the possibility to enter in third-party software. It means that uh, you can make your complete data process and then uh, thanks to the possibility to export in open format uh, both point cloud and both meshes, you can go easily inside Autodesk environment, Autocad to the Studio Max, Revit, Maya, as well, in Sol uh, as, well as going in SolidWorks, Cinema 4D, or Inventor or in any other kind of software uh, that you normally use to uh, complete and to finish your data process and to set up your output. Um, now, um, I think that uh, uh, I want to thank you for this first uh, introduction and for the attention that you paid to this first introduction. I want to pass the floor to uh, Tiziana that, uh, uh, who will show you the main capability of the software also going through some uh, um, success story that they think can be interesting for you also to see in which really in which application case you can use the software. So I will pass the floor to Tiziana and uh, we will talk again uh, uh, later. So I think that uh, you will enjoy this uh, Tiziana explanation. Thanks, Georgia. Here is Tiziana, uh, nice to meet you. And uh, I can show you my monitor. Yes, okay, <laughs> we are ready. Uh, as uh, Georgia just told you, uh, I'm going to, to show you some capabilities of uh, our software and uh, some uh, output that you can extract uh, from the software. Then, uh, if you have uh, some question, as uh, Giorgio say, uh, give you uh, raise your hand or make a question. At the end uh, of the explanation, we can uh, answer to you. All the packages in uh, in Reconstructor uh, contain the lineup pro uh, the lineup tool uh, that is able to import processing and register, it and register the, the scan. Uh, in particular, we have also the lineup pro tool that is able to uh, make an automatic targetless registration of the scan. Here in the, in the example, uh, we have an automatic registration of the scan uh, acquired uh, during the, the construction of the Italian pavilion in Milan in, uh, during Expo uh, in 2015 uh, here. Here we have 38 scan that uh, have been aligned in uh, 15 minutes in automatic way. 
the tools is able to hate you.